What is the most unusual way for Earth to be destroyed? We are going to dive into four different unexpected ways for Earth to be entirely obliterated, some ways more expected than others. Regardless, I think there is going to be one way you are not expecting. Imagine a cosmic wanderer from the universe's dawn, a rogue black hole born amidst the chaos of the Big Bang. These theoretical primordial black holes are like the shadows of the cosmos, small, dense and elusive. They're not the colossal black holes anchoring galaxies, instead they're interstellar nomads, drifting silently, unseen by the stars they pass. Now picture this. One of these cosmic phantoms slips into our solar system. It's stealthy, lacking the glaring accretion disk of larger black holes. It doesn't emit X-rays, so we don't see it coming. The first hint of this intruder might not be a direct sighting, but odd gravitational effects. Astronomers might notice the light from distant stars bending strangely, a gravitational lensing effect hinting at the black hole's silent approach. As it weaves through our solar system, this rogue black hole's gravity starts playing cosmic billiards with the planets. Orbits stretch and warp, introducing a chaos unseen for billions of years. Planets and moons are flung about, some smashing into each other, others hurled into the sun or cast into the cold void of space. It's a grand-scale reshaping of our celestial neighborhood. For Earth, the changes start small. Maybe our year gets a few seconds longer, or our axis tilts a bit more. But as the black hole draws nearer, these shifts turn catastrophic. As our orbit becomes more erratic, Earth's climate descends into chaos. One day we're facing scorching heat, the next a deep freeze. Storms rage with unprecedented fury. Ecosystems collapse under the strain of rapid, extreme changes. Plant and animal life face a wave of extinctions, our blue marble drifting ever closer to a rogue black hole, a cosmic intruder from the universe's infancy. As it nears, things start to get a little wild. The black hole's gravitational pull starts playing tug-of-war with our planet. We're talking about tidal effects like nothing we've ever seen. The oceans go haywire, creating colossal waves, while the ground shakes and volcanoes erupt like fireworks. It's like Mother Nature's having a temper tantrum on a planetary scale. Now here comes the really freaky part, spaghettification. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? As Earth gets pulled closer, it starts stretching and compressing like a piece of spaghetti. This isn't just a wild ride for thrill-seekers, it's the planet literally being pulled apart. And as we cross the event horizon, that's the black hole's point of no return, Earth transforms from a planet into a stream of atoms, a cosmic vanishing act. But here's the kicker, this is incredibly rare. The universe is huge and rogue black holes are like needles in a cosmic haystack. Detecting one of these space phantoms would be a game changer. We might catch their gravitational waves, ripples in space-time, giving us a heads up that something big is coming our way. And if we did spot one, well, it'd be a front row seat to one of the universe's most mind-bending phenomena. We'd have a chance to test our theories about gravity, space-time and black holes, Sure, it'd be a catastrophic event for Earth, but for scientists, it's the ultimate research opportunity. Advanced warning systems in the future might spot these cosmic wanderers before they become a threat, giving us time to prepare and study them. It would be a stark reminder of our place in the universe and the unpredictable nature of space. All right now, buckle up for a trip into the world of quantum weirdness with the strange matter infection scenario. It's like diving into a science fiction story but with real quantum physics in the mix. Here's the deal. Strange matter might exist deep in the cores of neutron stars, where things are so squished together that quarks, these tiny particles inside protons and neutrons, get all cozy and turn into strange quark matter. If this stuff is stable enough, it could survive outside these extreme environments. Now picture a microscopic particle of this strange matter, maybe flung out by a colliding neutron star, drifting through space until it bumps into Earth. If this strange matter particle touches our planet, it might kick off a chain reaction, turning regular atomic matter into more strange matter. Think of it like a sci-fi virus, but on a quantum level. So what would happen to Earth? Well, theoretically, the strange matter would start converting Earth's matter wherever it made contact, spreading across the planet like wildfire. Earth, our beautiful blue home, would be completely transformed into a mass of dense, alien, strange matter. Mountains, oceans, cities, even us. Everything would get converted. 
Now let's be real, this is super theoretical. Strange matter is still in the realm of we think it might exist, and the chances of it colliding with Earth are ridiculously small. But it's a mind-boggling idea, right? If it happened, it would be like Earth got rewritten by the laws of quantum physics. This scenario isn't just about the end of the world as we know it. It's a deep dive into the mysteries of quantum physics and the stuff that makes up the universe. It's about those extreme possibilities that exist within the laws of physics, even if they sound like something out of a sci-fi novel. Detecting a strange matter particle before it hit us would be a massive challenge. It's tiny, and we're not even sure what we're looking for. If we did spot it, it would set off a global scientific frenzy to figure out what it is and what it could do. Though whether we could do anything about it is another question. All right, let's talk about something that sounds straight out of a sci-fi thriller but is actually a real concept in theoretical physics, the vacuum decay catastrophe. This isn't just about the end of Earth, it's about a potential reset button for the entire universe. So here's the deal with the vacuum decay. Imagine our universe is in what's called a false vacuum state. It's kind of like sitting in a wobbly chair that feels stable but actually isn't. This false vacuum is thought to be just a temporary kind of unstable state. A true vacuum is more stable, lower in energy, and the universe really wants to be in that state. Now picture a random quantum fluctuation or some high energy cosmic event flipping the switch from false to true vacuum. This would kick off the creation of a bubble, a bubble that expands at the speed of light and as it spreads, it fundamentally changes everything it touches. We're talking about rewriting the laws of physics as we know them. Gravity, electromagnetism, nuclear forces, everything could be different inside this bubble. For Earth, and really anything in the universe, getting hit by this bubble means game over, but not in a fiery explosion kind of way. It's more like everything, every bit of matter, every form of energy, gets reconstituted based on a whole new set of physical rules. The catch, it happens so fast at the speed of light that we wouldn't even see it coming. One moment we're here and the next, poof, everything's changed. The aftermath of this vacuum decay would be a brand new universe, but it's likely to be a place that's totally alien to the kind of life we know. We're talking about a universe where the basic elements of life as we understand it might not even exist. Now this whole vacuum decay thing is purely theoretical, and the chances of it happening are incredibly slim. But it's a fascinating concept that physicists and cosmologists love to ponder. It pushes the boundaries of what we think we know about the universe and plays into those big existential questions about existence, stability and change. All right, let's dive into something straight out of a cosmic horror story. The gamma ray burst catastrophe. It sounds like science fiction, but it's actually a real, albeit incredibly rare, cosmic event. These gamma ray bursts, GRBs, are like the universe's most terrifying fireworks, massive, deadly, and mind-blowingly powerful. So what are GRBs? Picture the most violent and energetic thing in the universe. That's a GRB for you. They happen when colossal stars collapse into black holes, or when neutron stars decide to smash into each other. The energy unleashed in a few seconds could outshine entire galaxies. We're talking about a level of power that makes our nuclear bombs look like firecrackers. Now let's talk about what would happen if Earth got in the way of one of these cosmic death rays. First off, it's super unlikely. Space is big, really big, and GRBs are pretty focused. But if we did get hit by one, especially one from our cosmic neighborhood, it would be catastrophic. The gamma rays would slam into our atmosphere, potentially stripping away the ozone layer. That's our planetary sunscreen, folks. Without it, we're exposed to all the sun's harmful UV rays. But that's not all. This radiation could mess up the entire chemistry of our atmosphere, leading to drastic climate change, maybe even a global winter kind of situation. Now, as scary as this sounds, the chances of it happening are incredibly slim. We're more likely to win the cosmic lottery a dozen times over than get hit by a GRB, but astronomers are keeping an eye on these things. They use space-based observatories to study GRBs, trying to understand how they work and where they come from. It's like being cosmic detectives, piecing together clues from the most violent events in the universe. Studying GRBs isn't just about scaring ourselves with cosmic what-ifs. It's about understanding the life and death of stars, the mysteries of black holes, and the extreme physics of high-energy phenomena. And while a direct hit by a GRB is a far-off possibility, it's a stark reminder of how fragile our existence is in the grand scheme of the cosmos. So next time you look up at the stars, just remember, 
The universe is full of wonders and horrors beyond our wildest imagination. And as always, we hope you enjoyed our video today. Thanks for watching.